Looking at all these rings of the treasures we found, I really like the fact that none of the islands are dead center in the in the middle. I mean, there's a Forsaken Fortress that's dead set in the middle and Dragon Roost Island, but uh, I really like that some islands are a little off kilter to the left, some of them off kilter to the right and to the south. And so on and so forth. I just love the fact that it's, all these islands are just imperfect. That just gives the game a little bit more realism, don't you think? Hey, Paisanos! This is Toon Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So, in the last part, we went on a sweep of the fifth row down. We basically just went on a, a major salvaging tour and we got a couple more Triforce shards in the fifth row down and we even took a tour of the inside of Bomb Island, another volcanic expedition and now it's on to the sixth row down so we'll start at Diamond Step Island I think we've got a chart corresponding to that so let me double check pretty positive that we do and Right there, it's a treasure chart 23. Appropriate. All right, so. Let's warp back home. And sail on northwest to Diamond Step. So basically the same thing that we did for finding the ghost ship chart. More or less, except uh, this time we We'll just be exploring the outside of Diamond Step. Okay, so we sail it. So we cruise the winds into the night sky with the crescent moon shining down on us. Alrighty, so. And there's a major treasure close to outset, but we'll save that for when we're on the last row down. Let's focus on uh, the second to last. Alright. We are away to Diamond Step Island. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. To Diamond Step Island. Okay, avoid the gulls. We'll get to them in a, in a few moments. Well, uh, in a few parts, okay. Here we are, Diamond Step Islands, with a radiant beam of light shining up from the depths. Okay, we know the drill. Salvage away. Okay, corresponding. Oh, actually, I haven't opened the light ring chart yet. Okay, so this is uh, basically uh, the islands of the light rings that appear under a full moon, so... I guess I was mistaken about 3 Eye Reef. I guess those rings of light do appear under a night sky in general, but uh, these islands in particular, their treasures only appear under the light of a full moon, so... So yeah, like once a month, twice a month if we're lucky. Begs the question, how much time have we has actually gone by since, since Scooty has played the Song of Passing uh, an untold number of times. That's not important. Okay, alright. Okay, stop here. Cruise a little bit more. The texture of the sea is... not really helping that much. Alright. This is it. Time to haul up our booty for Diamond Step Island. Okay, check in the chest, amidst the blinding light lies another piece of Corazon! Alright, muchas gracias. Okay, next island if you please. So we're sailing away to another uncharted quadrant. In the east. 
Alright, so we just want to avoid the seagulls on our way out. Because we're not engaging in big octo fights just yet. Okay, and right here is another reef we'll be raiding. Okay, the sun's about to come up, so I don't think we'll be able to cap capture all the minor treasures, but let's go ahead and salvage what we can. Yeah, I know it's a bit tedious, me going after the small potatoes when we could be going after the big treasures. In fact, this whole side quest marathon is just kind of monotonous, but... You should know me by this point. I'm a completionist, and I gotta complete. Okay, just missed it. Okay, too late. Oh well. It's worth a shot. Okay, so here we are. At uh, another reef. This is an unexplored quadrant. Okay, so first things first. Call upon our fishy friends. Okay. Beats ahoy! Right! Num nums! Num nums galore! Okay! Eat him up! Ugh, lost count of how many times he's called Scooty Small Fry, but, uh, it's a nickname. Okay, Five Eye Reef! Okay. Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived to the south of here in the forest on Outset Island. But now, all that's left is the ruins of the fairy fountain where she lived. It's sort of sad. But to tell you the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yep, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fly. Yeah, and I just met her. I met her a while back. Did I ever tell you that? Okay, so apparently there is sort of a little mini game we can play with the merman, but I think it's, uh, you need to kind of, uh, spread bait to a merman who you've already met. Could have sworn he would have been told us to engage in it by now, but we'll, we'll focus on some one thing at a time. All right, ooh, double cannons. All right, killing two birds with one bomb. Or two. Lousy shot. Ooh, another opportunity, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's a couple mounted on the perimeter wall. Alrighty. Okay, we're in business. Okay, so this should be simpler since there's no cannon boats. And the cannoneers are pretty lousy shots. Okay. Ew! Well, they weren't lousy shots. Okay, I thought I could finish him off in one one hit, but okay, there we go. And wouldn't you know it, the treasure appears on the central eye, the Five Eye Reef. Okay, we'll grab the major booty once we get. Uh, we'll get the major booty under the sea, and as soon as we're done collecting the booty above the sea. Righto! So. Another long expedition of rolling our way along the reef line. 
As soon as I bomb a few chunks of wood. Okay, so, bombs of magic. Good to top off a little magic. Okay. Let's begin our long, tedious rollathon. Speed it up, a little! Okay, so we make our way to the end and we desecrate the remains of the poor souls who lost their lives trying to raid this reef. That's my guess. They probably died of other reasons. But that's not important. Survival of the fittest. Okay, northerly wind blows in our favor. Yay! Okay, now I gotta make it face northeast. Man, this is tedious. Alrighty, so conduct away, conduct to connect, conduct. Yeah, I, I really imagine Toon Link could really uh, be a major maestro in his future career after his adventure's over. But I digress. Okay. Alright, within this major trust is another piece of paper. Good lord, how I tire of these charts. I know these, they're, they lead you to something of greater value, but uh, still though, wouldn't it be nice to just, I don't know, get a piece of heart or something? Yep. Alright, Banzai, in we go. Right. So, let's find our major treasure for Five Eye Reef. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Aha! Treasure chart 12. Okay, so it should be located in the northern part. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're close. Okay, so the sun's going down, so we may have another chance to get the rings on the outside as well, so. Alright, should be the spot. Okay, holler up! Alright, riches galore! Or it could be another chart, who knows? All right, gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, another whopping 200 rupees. Yes, sir. All right, so let's go ahead and salvage the rest of the small potatoes outside. Then we'll move on to the next one, to the next island. Okay, so for this chest, a measly yellow one. Come on, where's the big, where's the big ones? So for this one, okay, purple. Not bad. This one, a redder. Okay. And last but not least, 
Another purple. Okay. I just noticed that before I grabbed the purple, it's the ruby count was 2003. The, the year that the Americans got the Wind Waker. The original one. I don't know, just a cute little coincidence. Alright, so... Let's continue eastward! Alright. Let's sail on! Onward! Where are we going? Let's see. Shark Island. Okay, so uh, we haven't actually explored Shark Island, so... We went past here some time ago, and we never actually explored the place. And co and <laughs> what a coinky dink! A shark is gonna follow us to Shark Island. How appropriate! Oh, two of them. Okay. Yeah, you just uh, keep it. Yeah, the guy orgs are pretty lousy. Okay, so three of them, and they're gone. Okay. That happened. Okay, it looks like we're not alone here. As we arrive to this island with the beacon on it. Looks like a ring of fire. Because it is a ring of fire. Okay, so... Much more to this island than meets the eye. Well... Well, obviously, if, uh, if it's in the shape of a shark, we're in for a tough time down below, if, uh, if that's the case. Okay, so, back down this grove of trees for more, for more measly greeners. You know, we step on the switch. Okay, so, uh, wait a minute. I don't think it's time for a full moon yet. Well, anyway, let's trigger these switches across this small island and we meet another Korok with another with another purple tree just wilted away. Alright, so reach Southern Fairy Island, head east from here. Okay, so So ah, ah. Gotta watch our footing Genius. Okay, so we gotta activate all the switches in rapid succession in order for it, this to work, so. Oh, and there's even some... Ow! Ah! Even some yellow rupees on the inaccessible perch. You must activate all four switches on this island. You must activate them all swiftly. Danger will visit all who fail to heed my warning. The Seer S.W. Pachit. Okay, whoever, whoever the hell that is. Oh, it's tempting. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for that ring of major booty. Okay, so. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, even the game itself is just like, stick to the program. Yeah, you're right. I should just stick to the important stuff. The slightly more important stuff. Just... I mean, all of this is completely optional in your main quest, so... Okay, so, let's see, there's a pressure switch. Okay, so it seems I couldn't have done much here earlier, even if I wanted to, without the help of the heavy metal boots. Okay. Okay, and there's a crystal switch, and there's a... All right. And there's another plunger switch on the fin. Yep. Okay, good. Okay. 
Hammer time, baby! Okay, yes! Alright, so... An updraft appears for some reason. Okay... Alright, so... Uh, do I use that to get up on that high ledge over there? I guess that would... I guess that makes sense. Nah, but we'll, we'll worry about that. Actually, I have a better idea. When in doubt, call on our winged friends to help us out. Okay, so... Get clip through the trees and grab our booty. Oh, there's a... Okay, so... So there's a blue one up there, so... Alright, so the plot thickens. Alright, so... We got the rupees up there, but uh, there's still... an electric goo boy up there. Okay, so we gotta line up. So this is gonna be a bit tricky. You gotta line up the... Not really sure how you do this, but uh, in order to... Okay, so the wind is blowing in a somewhat right direction, so... Okay, so... Sail into... Oh, dang it. Ah, why? Am I supposed to do this? Okay. Okay, let's just, uh... Can only do it in... No, that won't work. Okay, I'm confused here. Okay, so, uh, let's try from this angle. Not really sure if it'll work, but, uh, anything's worth a shot. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, you know what, let's just go into the cave and, uh, I'll see what I can find out about how to get that blue chew on top of, uh, the nose. In a little bit. Okay, so... Oof. Okay, so yeah, this one looks much more intimidating than the ones we've faced so far. Okay. Hit him in a hoy! Okay, so... Time to bring out the scary Lens of Truth mask. Okay, so it's creepy yet functional. Okay, oh, dude actually used his shield that time. Okay, so, Brawlathon, okay? Major Brawlathon. Okay. Oh, Falcon Punch me! Yeah, they just keep going. Oh, yeesh. Okay, come on, back. Alright, come on, big guy. Alright, you want some too? I got plenty for everyone! Come on! Come at me! Okay, yes! Spoils and riches galore! Come on! Oh! Alright, so... Probably gonna need a little bit of a handicap here to fend off the little imps from beyond. Okay, so... That'll distract the... The, the little guys, but for the big guys, we, we get it's a bit more complicated than that. Whoa, I think it's on the inside of one of the Moblin's mouse that time. It's amazing what you can see when you clip through uh, certain certain uh, 3D objects. Ah! Okay. Am I? Perry, Perry, quite contrary. All right. 
Yep. <laughs> you missed! Hey! Do it! Do it! Do it! Come on! Do it! Now you want to! Yeah! Okay, come on! Oh, another dark knight. Yeah, they just keep. They just won't. They just keep coming and they won't stop coming. Okay. Yes! What? Bust his head wide open. Yeah, that's right. I can punch your own comrade from behind. Won't have any effects, but. Enjoy the. Whoa! Heal that. Yes, sir! Every dog has his day, and this, sir, is not yours. Okay. And one more to add to the pile. Oh, one more armor. Whoa! Okay, yeah, this is getting way out of hand. Oh, and whiz robes! Yeah, the gang's this is just a fuster cluck of baddies down here. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, it's an all-out attack. I guess I should have known from the from the symbol of the island that a shark means an aggressive animal, and this this battle from within is aggressive as a, aggressive can be. All right, any more takers? Right. Yeah! All right. Okay. Let's be wary. Oh! Okay, got me on the run? I don't think so. Okay. Aha! Yeah. Nice try. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeesh. They're really wailing on each other. That's better than than me. Okay, I better make sure they're not summoning any more foes. Okay. Ha <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah. Want some meat to go with those skewered buns? Alright, come on. Drop your guard, come on! Yes! So many spoil spears, so little time. Yeah. Alright, you want some too, Toucan Sam? You can have some in hell. Okay, yeah, here's the heavy hitters. Okay, yes! I think this is the, the finale. The grand finale of our extensive brawlathon. Yeah, this, this makes the entirety of the Savage Labyrinth look tame by comparison. But only slightly. Yeah, this is really getting out of hand! Okay. Okay, so yeah. Okay, you want some too, good sir? You can have it. Okay, and they may as well just use your fallen comrade's weapon of choice. Alright, yeah, just watch that tiny titan just swing it right around. Alright, you want this spear? You want this spear? You want it? You want it? You want it? You can have it! Okay, so yeah, look at all these downed weapons. Okay, so yeah. Got your sword, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Alright! Down by his own weapon, okay. Alright, so yeah, you're looking a bit pale there, big guy. You should get out more often. Alright! Oh, you wouldn't think I would forget about you, good sir, now would I? Alright, it is over! That long, lengthy tussle is finally over. Yeesh. So yeah, look at all these weapons of fallen enemies. So yeah. So yeah, this this place is called Shark Island for a reason. 
Is uh, because you entered the belly of the beast. It's actually quite a nice visual metaphor. All right, so what's in this chest? All right, so uh, all of that hard work for 200 rupees. I mean, it's a good prize and all, but uh, come on, with a brawlathon like that, you would at least expect something more, more valuable, more one of a kind. Whatever. We're finally done with this cave. Yikes. Okay, so back to the service. And we still need to figure out how to get to Mr. Short Blue and Gooey up on the nose. Okay, so there's an updraft. Or there was one. Okay, so, uh. Go ahead and, uh. Let's do that again. Okay, so there's no platform for us to grab onto. There's Beetle Ship, but I'm not sure if it can sail close enough to... Well, let's... Let's go about our way anyway. Okay. Alright, come on! Okay, step on that switch. Come on! Hustle, hustle, hustle! Okay. Alright, and pound it! Okay, there's the updraft. So, what I do with it is just a mystery. Let's see. So, I want to get to the upper section, but uh, and the rings of light are here. Again. So yeah, after I complete this, uh, this island, I'm calling this part quits. I was planned to, uh, uh, to sail all the way to Forest Haven, but, uh, short on time. Alright, so, let's grab this circular ring of treasures real quick. Okay, treasure number one. A purple, okay. Nice. Okay, next one is... A redder. Alright. Okay, stop. Two more. Next one is... Another redder. Okay, last but not least. All right, another runner. 
A pleasant surprise. I guess for one with a tiny wallet, but for one with a big manly wallet like this one, these are small potatoes. Okay, I'm still stumped of how I'm supposed to get up on top of the, the nose, so... Let me see. Whoa, whoa! Okay, don't feel like I should change the direction of the wind, but... I still feel like, uh, I can... Just, uh... If I can just jump out of the boat at just the right perspective, I can... I can just make it. Then. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, that works. That worked. Okay, I just need to go around the other side, and... Yes! Yes, 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 yes! And we're away! Yeah! Okay, I got this. And those yellows appear, reappear, okay. Alright, there you are, you... As your booger. Alright, got him! Yes! Yes, sir! Okay, so... Conquered Shark Island. Okay, so... So I do believe that'll do it for this part. I was planned to go all the way to Southern Fairy Island and to Ice Ring Isle. But I think, uh... Mostly there we'll just find the last two couple of treasures. And one last major quest on uh, Forest Haven. Which is gonna... Pro most likely take up the rest of the part. But for now... I pretty much uh, overdone this part, especially going for just the tiny treasures. So, we've left Scooty with a big beaming smile on his face. Boy, that is creepy. But, we've accomplished quite a bit in this part, so we'll call part 65 quits for now. And we'll continue on in part 66. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This is Toon Gamer 23 signing out. And do you think Din, the creator of the Earth, knew that uh, Hyrule would be flooded someday? So she... Uh, made an entire mountaintop in the exact same shape of a shark. That can't be coincidence. I think the goddesses knew for a chance, for, knew that uh, Hyrule was doomed to be flooded. So uh, I guess uh, this is kind of an epic uh, tale of foreshadowing with one of the mountaintops resembling a freaking shark. But that's just my opinion.